Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Surrounded by Idiots. I'm Landros and um, uh, everything just got knocked out because of course um, I had a lot of issues. If you haven't been keeping up with my channel, uh, there's been a lot of things happening. Let me make sure he's at work or if he's supposed to be. I don't know what he's supposed to be doing. Uh, he's off. Where are you at, buddy? I don't even see you. Okay, you're invisible. Alright, great. Um, just what I need, an invisible man. Uh, there's an easy way to fix that. If, all you have to do, if you have an invisible sim, just take them over here, take them to the shower, and once they take a shower, they should pop back in. Um, at least I would think so. Typically, that'll happen right before he gets in there, just like that. So if you ever had that problem, don't panic, don't freak out. He's still there. It's just you just got to go ahead and kind of reset him that way. It's the easiest thing in the world to do. Okay, now I can't control the other idiots. I can only control Grayson. And let's see what does he want to do. He wants to befriend all of his co-workers. Um, let's see. What is this? Go to a dance club? Well, we could. Uh, reach level 5. Definitely going to do that. Okay, the next thing you want to do is have a boy or have a girl. Is she pregnant again? Oh, yeah, she is, isn't she? Oh, my gosh, she is. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Okay, so I guess I don't know if he needs anything, but I'm assuming he's okay. Um, why don't we go ahead and teach him how to walk? Since you've got some time off, you don't really have to do anything. Go ahead and take care of your kid. I can't choose any traits for him, so it really doesn't matter if he learns how to do this or not. He's going to get whatever he's going to get. So all I can do right, right now for this is just build up your relationship. And so... We'll do that for a while until he's actually there, but I'm not going to just absolutely kill myself to make sure that he learns how to do all these things. It'd be nice, but if he does, he does. If he doesn't, oh well. We'll just have to deal with him. All right, what's wrong with Mary Sue? I have no idea. Anyway, she got trapped by the arrow trap. Or caught by it, I don't know. Okay, looks like he's just about done with it, though. I guess we've already been doing this for a while? I didn't know that. Um, maybe it was in the challenge that you had to. I don't remember. Now, I do remember in the rules that you do have to have at least two kids. And so I know we're going to have at least two. I can't force it. I can't make her have more than that unless I turn the music on and turn this on to the kids' channel, which I'm not doing. Um, right now, I'm just going to actually work with him. we got to worry about him. I can't. I have no idea how old he is. I don't know when he's going to age up, and I'm not allowed to look over there at him to find out. So he could be a toddler for a long time, or he could be on his last day. I have no idea. And since I'm, for, like I said, for those of you who haven't been following along, I've had major, major computer issues. Ever since something happened with my game, um, I really don't know exactly what it was, but it really affected my game big time. All right, go ahead and teach this guy how to talk. Did we potty train him? No, we got to potty train him too, don't we? All right, well, we can do it all. We are super dad today. Okay, so you go ahead and take care of this one. I don't know what Dina's doing, but, you know, just let her kind of do her own thing. We ought to go out and clean this thing up or replace him. Do I have enough money? Oh, yeah, I got plenty of money. Yeah, go ahead and replace it. Let's get our little pea shooters back out. Because we're going to have zombies coming up in about a week. What in the world is that music, that noise? I don't know what that is, but it scares me. <laughs> it really does. Don't know why it does. Are you still teaching him how to walk when he already knows? Idiot? Come ahead. You're supposed to be surrounded by idiots, not joining them. So you just go ahead and teach him how to talk. Again, like I said, I can't change anything. I can't fix his traits. I can't choose anything at all. So the whole point of this, I, I guess it doesn't really make much of a point. But, you know, what else are you going to do, right? It would just make me feel better that we actually taught him something. So, all right, who's calling us? Oh, we have a party coming up tonight, don't we? Oh, that's right. Um, I think we probably have enough time to actually stop this. Go ahead and... We're going to go to the party. Dina, I don't know if you can go with us or not, but let's go ahead and um, see what's happening. Oh, what's wrong with this kid? Oh, I have no idea. Let's go ahead and change his dirty diaper real quick. Change his diaper. And then where's the party at? I've been to Don's house. I know where Don's house is. Hang on. Pause, everybody. Everybody, stop. No, no, no. I've been to this idiot's house. I know where he lives. It's like right there by us. And for some reason, he's just not showing up as a party. <sighs> is it across the street? <laughs> Wouldn't that be just too funny? It's right there across from us. Okay, there's the burbs, which they're in Dragon Valley now. Um... I guess we're just going to have to go take this as our 
only way to get there. Oh, see, it knocks it out. I tried, but I don't know where the party is. It's such a weird thing. It happens all the time. So I just, I don't think we're actually going to get to go to a party. We're just going to have to say no. All right, go back. Turn you guys back on. And all right. Got him all set up. Oh, Lord have mercy. What's wrong with him? Why don't you go feed him real quick? He's probably hungry. <laughs> He's probably hungry. I don't know. Maybe not. He may be tired. He's still in the green, though, and I don't see any bubbles over his head that say anything. So, as far as I can tell, he's fine. Um, what did you need to be doing? Really, you've got things to do for your job, don't you? Oh, no, you're in business. You don't have anything to do. You're just kind of, like, lingering on, doing your own thing. You can go do the juice kegger. That's fine. Go ahead and do the juice keg. Actually, we need to go check our gifts and see if we got anything. And we need to see if we got to pay bills. Uh, no bills. Go accept the gifts, and I'll let you go do the juice keg. Actually, I was going to let you go do the golf course thing. But, you know, it's whatever you want. Look at all these errors. I don't... There's something weird about this town. All right, so for Monica Lutz, for whoever you want it for, all right, we're going to take it here for Grayson. Got the obelisk vine. Thank you so much for that. And I'm out of my gifts for another 14 and a half hours. All right, Monica Lutz. And again, for whoever you want it for, all right, we're going to take it here. Got the modern orchid. Thank you so much. And let's see, last gift for me today. All right, thank you, Monica Lutz. I appreciate it. And we got the emoticot. Very nice. From Sunny Corinthos 24, message from the game. Let's see. It is the wall clock. All right. And then I think we've got two more, three more. Okay, Sunny Corinthos again, message from the game. We have 400 simoleons, and from Redped16, thanks for the obelisk vine. Here's a gift for any LP. Yeah, I get that a lot. All right, we got another table tennis. That's pretty cool. And then from Amy Wolf Song, after a long and rough day at work, I wind uh, wind down by watching your videos. Thanks for the great entertainment. Well, I'm glad they're actually going back up now. It's been a while. All right, we got the prim and proper sofa. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, it has been a long time because I had so many issues with it. All right, let's go ahead and look at all this stuff. All right, I'm just going to look uh, really carefully. He probably could use some of this stuff. Um, I'm going to put this out in case he'll go over there and use it. He probably won't. But then again, I'm not going to say, don't say never, I guess. Uh, I need more room. I guess I'm going to have to start building onto this stupid house again. <laughs> I guess that's what's going to have to happen. Um, let's see. Can you put this over here? Can it fit? It can, but then you can't be trained. Um, let's see. Is there a place out here? Please tell me it'll fit there. Yes, it will. He'll crawl over that way. All right, is there anything else for him? Um, anything else that I think they would desperately want? If not, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to sell out. Um, he has the the bear in there, so I don't have to worry about that one. Do we have a beverage maker? No, we don't have any equipment out here, so let's go ahead and put the beverage maker out. Oh, it's a purple one or a blue. I can't tell. Um, we've got our own computer, so I don't need that. Got a TV. I think our TV's pretty decent. Yes, yeah, the same one. Um, we've got a bonfire pit, don't we? I think we do. Yeah, we got a bonfire pit. And looks like everything else, I'm pretty good. Uh, I like these palms. I really do. I don't know why. <laughs> I just really like the palms. Um, don't know where I'd put it, but uh, let's put it right there. Will it go back any further? No. All right, so that's fine with me. We have a football, don't we? Uh, yeah, we do. It's right there on the ground. And I know we got the table tennis because I put that one out there. Um, bubble bath. Don't know that we... We've got some in there. I don't know we have a whole lot, but let's just put another one in see if it'll fit. All right. Uh, doesn't look like... Oh, it'll go in there, but I don't... I don't think that's where you're supposed to put it. I'm going to put it over here just so I know that it's there. And I can use it again if I want to. Oh, well, we can't sell our flamingo. Come on. The flamingo's got to go out with the ducks. Where are the ducks? Uh, it'd help if I turn the lights on. Okay, so we got two flamingos and a duck. Um, is it in, it's not on the right spot, is it? No. Flamingos are in the back row. Okay. And then I could take the guitar, but I think we already have one. I'm not going to worry about the guitar. All right. So it looks like we've got everything else. Do I have a picnic table out here? No, I don't. So let's take one of these picnic tables out and just give ourselves some... Let me see which one I like. Oh, they're the same. Doesn't matter. Okay, and I could take one of these stereos out if I really wanted to. I don't really want all the rest of the stuff. I think I'm going to just sell out and make some money. Yeah, there's stuff in here that would be worthwhile and it would be valuable. Probably better than what we got, but let's just sell it before it all depreciates too much. 
and see how much money we got. We started with 41,000. Let's see what this turns out as because it's going to be a lot. Um, and this way I can actually start thinking about building onto this house, which I desperately need to do. Wow. 95,000. All right. Sounds like a good deal to me. And let's go ahead. <laughs> I love that little laugh. All right. You go ahead and do what you got to do. Buddy, what are you going to do? Going to go play games with her? Um, can you play with her or are you going to actually have to... Will you guys join together? Well, that was nice of you. All right. And what is this? Is this good? Yeah, but nobody ate it. Nobody ate any of that. All right, so I didn't know you could actually do that and um, wouldn't interrupt her. That's pretty cool. All right, something's wrong with Mary Sue Pleasant. I don't know what her problem is, but she needs to get it together. Or this game's going to take her out. So with Lilith Pleasant. So what I'm going to have to work on then, because I know we're going to have another kid, is I'm going to have to work on adding... Um, probably another another wing another bedroom to the or the set of bedrooms to this house and looking at the lot I'm thinking we're gonna go out this side just because you know I still want to move their room out a little bit more I want to actually extend it so that won't be too bad but keep it pretty much the same I don't really want to make it too over the top and change it too much but I am gonna change a little bit more of it um, I don't know, every time I start thinking about it, then I start changing my mind on what I want to do, so... I don't know. I will figure it out eventually. I do want to have their kitchen be a lot bigger than this, so I've kind of got an idea what I want to go with. Not 100% sure. I think what I'll do is after this episode's over, I am going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to start working on their, um, uh, on their house and just build it up a little bit just so that I'm ready because, I, like I said, I know we're having at least one more, maybe even more. Now, I'm assuming that this kid is okay because he's not crying and he's still in the green. We should probably be teaching him something, but we don't have to. I'm kind of enjoying the fact that I don't have to do a whole lot with him because, you know, with all my other LPs, i got to do so much for the babies and the training. All I really have to worry about this kid... Well, wait a minute. Maybe the rules did say I had to teach him all that stuff. All right, let's get over there and just at least do it. I just want to make sure... Um, I don't think I have to go through like all the books and all that stuff because I can't. I can't force him to do everything else. But I, I can teach him the basic three things. I, I'm kind of thinking that you do have to do that. But like I said, I might be completely wrong. But let's at least get a little bit further along. And um, let's see, what time do you got to go to work? 11 hours? Did we break the TV? Oh, and I just sold one, didn't I? Uh, that's fine. Does he have any hand in his skill? He's got a little bit. He could actually fix that, I think. Alright, woman. Go ahead. <laughs> After you broke something, now what are you going to go do? That's fine. I don't think the kid's going to use this. I really don't. Now that he's got that toy in his inventory, I think he's going to spend all of his time playing with it. So, that looked like somebody was peeping in the window. <laughs> it's too funny. Alright. Well, it's 10 o'clock, so let's see. What do you want to do? See him age up well? I'd like to, but I have no idea which one of those we're going to have. I'm just kind of curious. Alright. See, at least, you know, they will do some things on their own. We don't have to worry too much. So she will clean as long as it's not broken. Um, they don't always do that. Alright. And, you know, as soon as we go to bed, she's going to go into labor. Because she definitely looks like she's about to pop. Oh, no, she wants a massage. Oh, great. How much longer do we have to teach this kid? Uh, he's not too far off. He really isn't. All right, now Daniel Pleasant's causing issues. Daniel, you guys need to go back to Sunlit Tides and um, stop causing issues. Oh, yeah, I did make that shirt, didn't I? I forgot some of the stuff I put on these guys. Some, well, I like it when I customize it because I tend to forget to do that. But um, I'm sorry, Dina. I really am. I'm sorry we got you all upset. But I do like customizing it just because it changes something that you see all the time. All right, it looks like the little kid's tired too. So let's go ahead and... Uh, does Dina want to talk to Don? No, 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 no. Well, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> put Zachary in the crib. All right, let's put Zachary down. Uh-huh. Watch it because this woman is very flirty, and I don't trust Don more than two feet. So um, I guess we should have actually done this. We should have fixed it. Let's go ahead and repair it before you go to bed. Um, yeah, put the, put the child to bed. 
And I believe this is the kid we're going to be following. Although he does, you don't have to choose the first one. It could be the second born, the third born. It doesn't matter, as long as you just once you choose one. It's on his twenty on his the day he becomes a young adult. You have to immediately switch over to that one. If you wait uh, to the second day, you can't choose him. You have to choose somebody else. So I don't know. Figure we'll fix this because if she's at home, she'll want to have something to do, and um, this will keep her somewhat busy. And he should be okay. Um, at least I hope he is. I don't know. This may take him a lot longer than I thought. How much time has he got till work? Nine hours? Um, yeah, buddy, you need to go. Did I get you some rewards or something? Oh, yeah, I did. Hardly hungry and still bladder? No wonder. All right, that's good. So you don't have to worry too much about everything else in the day. Dina, why would you do that? Alright. Uh, we lost our jock title. Uh, who cares? Yeah, Don. Oh, the baby's coming. Like, Didn't I just say that? <laughs> didn't I just say that the baby was going to come as soon as we go to bed? Oh, man. Yeah, Don, we tried to come to your party. We really did. But, unfortunately, we couldn't do it. Yeah, go ahead, woman. I have no idea. I have no idea what to name this child. I don't have a clue. I'm just sitting around looking around my house right now going, Okay, what am I going to call this next kid? And, um, can you just hold it in for another episode, please? Just, just 20 minutes. Come on. <laughs> just a little bit longer. All right. Oh, did I freeze? Uh, I froze. I did something. Oh, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. Or no, it's not. I don't know what the deal was. Why was it doing that? I know when it's 3 o'clock in the morning. I know what that means. But it's kind of weird. <laughs> He's laughing. He's laughing at me going, you got another one to take care of. But this one's not as hard. It's not like I have to do everything like I do with the hybrid baby challenge. So this one, I don't really feel the pressure on this one. So I just feel the pressure on coming up with a name. That's the problem. Yeah, buddy, you go ahead and stay in bed for a while because it's going to take her about four hours of labor. So you just go ahead and yeah, enjoy. Enjoy the fact that um, she's doing this on her own. And for some reason, I'm freezing up. I hope not. Um, I'm hoping that it will come back. It did this on Island Paradise and it froze up permanently and I couldn't get it to come back. I had to shut everything down. And I'm kind of hoping or kind of thinking that we're going to have the same issues here. Alright, give me just a second. No, it was okay. It it came back. So, apparently we just got a lot of things. There's a lot of issues in this town because I think they've got so many different sims in here. I think there's a lot more in this town than what there is in normal ones. Um, at least that's my opinion. I may be completely wrong. Um, and I actually thought about if this town continues. This one in uh, Union Cove are both kind of giving me issues. If they continue to give me issues, I may just take my families out, pop them into a regular EA town where I know that they will hopefully not have as much inside. I would hate to do that because I really enjoy the town, but it just kind of, I'm getting that kind of feeling that I might need to do that. I don't know. See, now I can't click on her. I can only just watch him sleep, which is pretty sad. I don't know if we're having a girl or a boy. We didn't actually try to manipulate it, did we? I don't think we did. I think we just kind of kept everything as is. All right, well, something's going to have to happen because I'm getting a little tired of uh, this thing freezing up on me. And, of course, if I go up into map view, maybe it'll actually continue on. I'm looking at the time, the clock, and it's now it's finally moving. It was just standing still there for a while. All right, well, let's drop back down into town or back down into their house and let's see what's happening. Nothing. That's weird. It has to reload back up again like that. All right, you go ahead. At least I know that... All right, it's somewhat moving. I hate when it starts to lag like that. I really do. And I don't have issues unless I go to certain LPs. Um, I'm finding that this LP, I'm getting this issue a lot. and um, Or this town and so I don't know it may like I said it may be that I just have to pop it out because I just finished playing Klepto King ran beautifully ran smoothly I didn't turn the computer off nothing happened all I did is I just switched over game files so it could be that this file is just so massively large that it causes a lot of issues and you notice we've gotten a lot of error traps and whatnot I didn't get that in um, Klepto King so like I said next episode you guys might see us in a new town just because I'm kinda getting that as my my indication that this might not be the one the town to be in because we're having so many, so many issues which I hate that because they've already built up friendships in town but yeah, that's alright they'll be okay 
I mean, if it's going to be like this, this is just painful. Absolutely painful. I know it's probably painful for you guys to watch, but it's painful for me to actually try to play it. So, all right. Give me a second. I'll be back when she actually gives birth to the, to the kid. All right, so we're having a baby girl, and I have no idea what to call this child. I really don't. Um, let's see. What's his name? His name is Grayson. Her name is Dina. Um, I have no idea. The little kid's name is Zachary. Um, huh. There's been so many different names that I've used and so many that I haven't. Uh, Dina, Nina. Mm, that would be too easy. I could call her Gina. Kind of covers the both with Grayson and Dina. But I don't know. Too many, too many of them. Um, uh, shoot. All right. Let's just do something completely different. How about Mallory? I don't have a Mallory, do I? I don't think I do. Let's see. Can I go in here? Is it not letting me do anything? Okay, I got an issue with the game. I can't actually do anything. Okay, great. Finally, I got an A or M. Can I get an A? Give me an A. Yeah, guys, we're probably not going to be in this town after today. So do not expect it because I think that's the main issue with this thing. Because as you can see, I've just been hitting the letters and it's taking forever for it to even do this. So I'm going to go ahead and give Mallory a name. Um, let's see if we can get this thing going. Finally, it's actually moving a little bit. And oh, we got to randomize traits. She's grumpy and absent-minded. Good for her. And looks like that's all we got. Um, but yeah, what I think I'm going to do is because I'm getting so much of this issue, so much of this this lag and whatnot, um, and it's stopping and starting. It's just being very, very painful. What I'll do is I'll probably just go ahead and pop them out, put them in a new town, and when we come back for the next episode, you'll see them that see that they have moved into a brand new uh, location. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next.